folks, Scott here with my 10 card one kit video featuring the Love From Lizzie May 2018 Totally Tropical Card Kit. This kit came with lots of interesting pattern papers and some very unique embellishments. <laughs> As usual, I do start most of my stamp kits by stamping and coloring all of the stamps in a stamp set. I really like this large hibiscus flower, this big, this is actually called a Monstera Delicioso leaf. I love this leaf, great. Some other ferns and border stamps, four sentiments. So I did stamp these on the thin Copic Friendly cardstock from this kit, stamped that with my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, and colored these all up with my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. It worked very well on this paper. You get a little bit too much ink and any thin paper is going to bleed a little bit. But that large hibiscus stamp and the large Monstera leaf stamp are easily fussy cut. As usual, I did take all of my colored card stock from the kit and made card bases out of them. I also used the thicker piece of Copic Friendly white card stock for my card bases. So let's see what we came up with for the 10 cards this month. So for my first card, I used the bright red card base and I fussy cut that hibiscus flower and that monstera leaf out of the white card stock that I colored. This is pattern paper from the kit that featured the hibiscus with the white flowers. I cut that at a little slight angle, kind of following these flowers along and then paired that up with a piece of that great dark green and gold shimmer specialty paper. I taped those two together and then cut those out with one of my Lawn Fawn stitch rectangle dies. I always go to those. I did take that green and white ribbon and attach that behind the pattern paper with just a little bit of it showing, kind of making that into a little bit of a pattern paper trim there. That works really nicely. I like that. And I did add one of the Love from Lizzie peel-offs right on the edge there. Gives some nice color, some nice shine. These are the two stamps I colored. I did add a little bit more of the olive color to this Monstera leaf just to get it to match this pattern paper a little better. I did take the little brown boa, <laughs> the marabou boa, and I glued some little tufts in the center of this flower. I don't know if you can really see it. Let me see if I... There you go. You can see it if I blow on it. <laughs> this is a nice fuzzy little center of this flower made with that uh, marabou boa from the embellishment kit. The For You sentiment is from the stamp set. I just stamped that on a scrap piece of white cardstock. I did add a number of red and green and white sequins to this card. This is a nice, easy, smooth way to get into this tropical set for you, featuring the viscous and the Monstera leaf stamp. Those are both just gorgeous stamps. I really like this card a lot. So if you saw my unboxing, you know that I was particularly enamored with this toucan die. So I actually started playing with this before I made any cards. And I did some die cutting and did some paper piecing. Ultimately, this is what I came up with. And I was really thrilled with the color that paper piecing would provide us. I actually used a tool that I had never used before my Tim Holtz Distress Marker Spritzer. Never used this before, but I was interested in trying to get some nice shading on the toucan die. So I don't have any Distress Markers, but I do have plenty of Sharpie Markers. And the Sharpie Markers actually fit quite well in this Spritzer. And you can get some very nice effects. Now, all of the cutouts from that die are very, very little. So we don't have to color much. But you can see right there, you get a really, you can get a really nice kind of an airbrush feel. Now, this will always spatter a little because there's just not enough air pressure behind it. But I was really excited at how nice this toucan came out 
using a tool that I had never used before and had in my stash. I will play with this some more, especially now that I know that the Sharpie markers work with it too. <laughs> so I did take that toucan and on the warm yellow card base, I created my second card. Just a little toucan of my appreciation. Now I have to give kudos to Alicia, Crazy Paper Chick, another one of our design team for this sentiment. She actually had a stamp from Stampin' Up that was this sentiment. Just a little toucan of my appreciation. I love that so I created that for my own card here. I took that spatter pattern paper Cut it to size with one of my stitched rectangle dies. <laughs> I did foam tape that up on the card base for a little dimension. I outlined that with some of the thin gold peel-offs. Now, I didn't miter the corners here. I just let them go off the edges of the pattern paper. I liked how that worked. So I took one of my Doris border dies. Inexpensive, works very well. And I cut this branch out of that lovely green and gold specialty paper. I cut that branch out and glued the toucan's legs to that branch and then mounted both of them up with some foam tape. A little dimension there. This I did, of course, on my silhouette. This is the noteworthy font. I used a little scrap of jewel yellow cardstock. A little scrap of this from my stash printed the sentiment on that. I did use one of my circle stitch dies to cut that out and mounted that up with foam tape. A really fun card. I love how much color paper piecing this toucan gives this card. So much color, so much brightness. I was a little worried with the dark pattern paper that all of my cards would be dark so it was really nice for me to see that we could create a nice bright colorful card as well and i really like how that vine worked as far as giving my toucan something to stand on just a little toucan of my appreciation <laughs> so you know i always try to use all the stamps in the stamp sets with these 10 cards and lizzie had a couple of nice little leaf puns in her sentiments so i figured let's use these puns because you know i like a pun so let's use these puns and create some cards so the both of her puns were leaf oriented so i dug out all of the pattern paper that just featured leaves. No flowers, no birds, no nothing, just leaves for my next card. This is on the forest green card base. And here we've got, sorry, you're leafing. <laughs> Look at the shine on that. I actually took my Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle dies. I took a bunch of them and I cut three frames from the three pieces of pattern paper that only had foliage on it. Now there's kind of a dark, lighter, and then very white one. So I brought the white one to the center to show off the sentiment. Cut frames, three frames together. Now I tried these, just the frames and the sentiment on this forest green cardstock, and it was just a little too plain. So I went in with the gold mirror peel-offs and made little peel-off frames between each one of the paper frames. What was fun with this was that this is the wide peel-off, this is the medium width peel-off, and this is the thin peel-off. So the little peel-off frames get progressively smaller as they go towards the center of the card. I really, really like this. Sorry you're leafing. I stamped that, of course, in my Versamark. And I dug out the Love from Lizzie. Uh, this is Emerald City embossing powder. This we got with our September card kit of last year, September 2017. I thought that went really well with all of the green on this card. I did snip a few of the leaves from the leaf trim ribbon in the accessories bag and glued them to the corners here for a little dimension, a little touch of shine there. Sorry, you're leafing. This is a great card. I really like it a lot. And those mirror peel off frames in the center sold this card completely. I really like that. Sorry you're leafing. <laughs> so now we move on to the pale gray card base and there was that one piece of pattern paper that had the gold foiling and had the diamond patterns. 
So I made a thank you card. This doesn't feel tropical to me at all, but I really liked that pattern paper. It's really nice. I noticed that some of the lines were continuous. They didn't all get caught up in the diamonds. So I split that pattern paper apart along one of those lines and pulled these two pieces apart. That's about five eighths of an inch difference there and cut them to size to fit the front of this pale gray cardstock. Look at all the shimmer on that. Now this gap left too big of a space to use one of the small stamped sentiments from the stamp set. So I did break out my thank you lawn fawn thank you border die and cut the sentiment here, cut the thank you out of that gold mirror specialty card stock. Works really great with this gold card. I did use three of the wood veneer die cuts on this card and I colored them up with my Delicata Golden Glitz ink pads. Goes very well with this card and then added little dots of the Nouveau Jewel Drops from the kit to the center of those. I made a little arrangement in the point of my V here using three of the sequin, the gold leaf sequins as well. And then I took that liquid gold ribbon and attached it to the top and added a little bow. Now, I didn't actually use the green thread that was in the kit, but I did use it to tie this ribbon into a cinch to put this bow on top of. So I'm gonna call that using some of that green thread in the kit. I added a few sequins on the side to balance this card out. A really nice, a really sharp, highly reflective thank you card. Very nice. I like this. It doesn't say tropical to me at all. This is just a normal thank you card. So after I made this card, I had all of the inner pieces of these pattern papers that were cut out staring at me, and I decided I had to do something with those nice already cut pieces of pattern paper. So we go back to the forest green card base and back to one of Lizzie's puns from the stamp set for I'll Always Believe in You. <laughs> oh, now this card made me very happy. I used the mats cut from the center of the frames on card number three to make mats for all of these frames. Now, since there weren't spaces between, I went ahead and used my stitched rectangle dies to cut gold mirror mats for all of the pattern papers. Again, that sentiment from the kit just fit within that smallest stitched rectangle. And I again stamped that with Versamark ink and embossed that with Lizzie's Emerald City embossing powder. Oh, this card has a ton of reflection too. Now to bring the gold to the sentiment, I actually used the thinnest little peel offs to outline that sentiment. So there is a little bit of a gold frame around the center sentiment added two of the little gold leaf sequins and one of the plain sequins to the sentiment for a last little touch of bling. This is really fun. I was surprised at how different these two cards look considering that they're both kind of the same thought process, kind of the same design, but executed in two very different ways. This card doesn't have a lot of dimension. All of the frames are up on foam tape. This card has a ton of dimensions. I went ahead and mounted up all of the pattern papers with some fun foam behind it for a nice little, almost a pyramid effect. This really looks like it's coming off the card right at you. <laughs> I'll always believe in you. Another leaf card, no flowers, just leaves. <laughs> now I went through and through and over and over and rifled through these pattern papers time and time again trying to come up with some interesting ways to use them on a card without making everything dark and rainforest like. <laughs> so for my next card on the pale gray cardstock again we come up with an Aloha card. Now this is the eclipse technique, which I have never done before and thought I would give it a try with this great hibiscus pattern paper. 
Aloha. I really like that. It came out really very well. I don't have any dies, alpha dies, that big in my stash. So I did go to my silhouette and used my silhouette to cut the Aloha out of this pattern paper. Now that is the Gil Sands Ultra Bold font. I used my silhouette to cut that out and then used the stitched rectangle die to cut the square out, hand cut a little gold of the shimmer gold specialty paper for a mat behind that. I did cut like three more layers of gray cardstock, my own gray cardstock, to layer up behind the letters and give them a little bit of a chunky nature. And then I mounted those all up with foam so you can actually see underneath them just a little bit. I'm very pleased with this. This is the first Eclipse card I've ever done. I see hibiscus flowers and I think Hawaii. I think Hawaii and I think Aloha. <laughs> so there's my reasoning behind this card. I did take a piece of that string of sequins and use that as a kind of a little underline for my Aloha to draw a little attention to it. A couple of sequins from the sequin mix to put final points on the ends of that. That's my first ever Eclipse card. I will play with this some more, especially since I have a silhouette. I can use most any font, can make most any word big enough. I think I would probably go with a lighter, less busy pattern paper and a darker background. I'll have to experiment with this, but I really like this Aloha, a great use of this pattern paper, I think. So we do have a couple of uh, white card bases to use. So for my next card, I go to a white card base. I return to the hibiscus stamp and some of the unique embellishments from our embellishment bag. Kamana wanna lay you. Again, hibiscus makes me think of Hawaii. <laughs> I think this card is just kind of a riot uh, for a number of reasons. First, I was able to use this punchinella and some of the green pipe cleaners from the kit. I just took that green pipe cleaner and wove it through the holes on the edges of that punchinella. And then I cut that to size and mounted it on top of that dark green pattern paper that had like the silhouettes of the hibiscus flowers. Glued those all together for my background and glued those right down to my white card base. I stamped the hibiscus flower stamp a number of times, I think I even have an extra one. I stamped those with Versamark ink and embossed those with the Golden Crown embossing powder included in this kit. Look at that great shine on that. Now, I did stamp and emboss these first and then brought in my stencil from the kit to color them. Now, Lizzie, I colored these just for you. You didn't include any pink in this kit, so I made some pink hibiscus just for you on this card. Now, I like taking a stencil, especially a small little stencil like this, and making a little stick on it. So on the back of this, I actually took my Zig two-way glue pen and covered the back of this with some glue and let it dry very thoroughly. So there's just a little bit of a stick to the back of this stencil. That makes it hang on really, really, really well. Now I used my little sponge daubers to color all of these hibiscus with worn lipstick and wilted violet distress oxide inks. Those are the colors I used on that. Even with the stencil tacky, I still daubed the ink on it instead of rubbing it. These little pieces of this stencil are very fine and pretty fragile, but I was very pleased with the effect that I got coloring all of these beautiful hibiscus. 
Come on, I want to lay you. That's an old pun from way back. Oh, goodness. I think Bette Midler used it years and years and years and years ago. <laughs> I did print this sentiment up on my silhouette using my favorite of all time, the Brady Bunch Remastered font. <laughs> I sized that to cut with one of my stitched oval dies. I cut a mat for that from the green and gold pattern paper. Use some of the Nouveau Jewel Drops for a little color accent on the sentiment. Put this all together. I really like this card. I think it's great fun that it's a very pretty, what seems to be a very formal card with a little bit of a <laughs> bunny off-color sentiment, shall we? I hope I don't offend anybody with this, but this makes me laugh every time I say, come on, I want to lay you with a lovely hibiscus lay just for you guys. <laughs> now, I hadn't used that little sample of Nouveau Glimmer paste yet, so since I had my stencils out, I decided I needed to use that Nouveau Glimmer paste with those ferns. I thought the ferns were nice and detailed and wouldn't use too much of my glimmer paste right away. So on the bright red card base, we've got So Very Frond of You. <laughs> it's a, lots of puns available with this kit. I really, really like this pun. I was going to do a uh, You're My Best Frond. There's a lot of good puns to use with this, but here we have four of those fern stencils that have been done with that glimmer paste. That's really pretty stuff. I did that on some black cardstock from my stash, cut that down, added it to some of the fern pattern paper, cut that down, added that to the green foil polka dot pattern paper, and glued that all down to my card front. Now, I did take the border stamp that I colored at the beginning of this kit and trimmed that down very closely, added that to the bottom of card, and that gave me just enough room to print my sentiment. So I actually printed the sentiment on my silhouette directly on the card front. This is the Rockwell Extra Bold Font. So very fond of you, printed right on the cardstock. I like this a lot. Now there was a little bit of a gap between these two center fronds. So I took the frond that I stamped and colored and fussy cut that out. That was pretty fussy. <laughs> Mounted it up in the center here with little bitty dots of foam tape and then used my Spectrum Noir glitter pen to add a little glitter to that. I think that really says that, hey, the focus of this card is the fronds, these palm fronds or fern fronds, whichever you like. So very fond of you. A few little sequins in the black and some little red sequin centers in my tiny hibiscus border. This is a fun card. I really like that sentiment. And boy, that glimmer paste is something special. Really like that. Now, I knew I couldn't finish 10 cards from this kit and not play with that great toucan die <laughs> one more time. So for my ninth card here, this is on the warm yellow card base. If any toucan, me and you can. <laughs> Again, that makes me laugh. I really love that cute little pun poem. And I love these toucans. Now, I did die cut two of the toucans out of black. I then die cut a bunch of toucans out of just some plain O colored cardstock from my stash. I die cut a red one. I die cut a blue one. I die cut a yellow one. I die cut an orange one. Those are just plain papers from my stash. I used all of those pieces to paper piece these toucan dies. Now I did turn one upside down, left one right side up. When I realized that facing each other, they made kind of a heart, I dug out my heart nesting dies from Doris and I had to cut a heart for them. <laughs> I cut this out of one of the shimmer pattern papers. The back of the shimmer pattern papers included in the kit are also shimmer too. So this has a really nice gold shimmer to it. There, I think you can see it there. 
it fit perfectly around these two cans. I was so delighted by that. I did trace the die to cut, hand cut the brushed gold specialty paper for a mat for that heart. I used a second Derice border die in this nice leaf pattern. With that green and gold specialty paper, I cut that leaf and glued the two cans feet to it. I did add some foam tape behind the two cans to give their bodies a little bit of dimension, but glued the branch and their legs right down to the card front. Now this is that smaller hibiscus stamp, but I thought it was a little large to use right here, so I actually went in and cut the outer leaves, cut the outer petals away from that stamp. And I think it looks even more like hibiscus without those extra petals. I really like that flower right in the center of them. If any two can, me and you can. A <laughs> great Valentine or I love you or anniversary card. I really like this. I love that toucan die. I think there is so much possibilities with that toucan die. I love these guys looking at each other. They both have blue eyes. So much fun. I really enjoyed this card a lot. And here's a card that doesn't have any pattern paper on it. Whoops. <laughs> but that's ultimately the brightest and most colorful card from this whole set. <laughs> so that leaves us with one white card base left for these 10 cards. Now this card went through many permutations before arriving at its <laughs> final <laughs> construction. I still have one stamp from the stamp set that I haven't used yet. It is a sentiment. It is the Wild About You sentiment. I haven't used that yet. So I will use that on my 10th card here on the white card base. Huh? <laughs> that chevron pattern paper I was looking closely at it and I realized that those chevrons were all fuzzy none of those had straight lines on it so that made me think of of course the pipe cleaners <laughs> so I bent the pipe cleaners into the same pattern glued those down to this pattern paper originally I was just going to use that as a border but then I cut them apart along that black chevron in the center and realized that they kind of look like a mouth so we do have a pull tab on this card I surprised myself by coming up with this fun little interactive card I didn't think I'd be able to do anything interactive with this kit but here we go wild about you yomp, 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 yomp. <laughs> wild about you <laughs> So that's my little puppet pull tab card for you. I actually dug these big googly eyes out of my stash. Those were included in the Love from Lizzie October card kit in 2017. I tell you, I hang on to all my extras on all of these kits because you never know when you're going to need them. <laughs> I used some of that brown satin ribbon for a little extra dimension on the front there. A couple of pieces of the brush gold specialty paper to top and bottom. This is a really fun card. Really cute, interactive puppet card. Wild about you. Roar, roar, roar. <laughs> I have to admit, I ultimately put this together very late at night. <laughs> I do have a good amount of supplies left over, although I thought I did a really good job at using a little bit of everything. I do have a little punchinella left. I didn't get a chance to use this as a stencil with that glimmer paste, but there's always tomorrow. I have one card size piece of that thin Copic friendly cardstock left. I have a good amount of the pattern paper left. Not a lot of full sheets, but a few of the full sheets left. I've got a good amount of some of the specialty cardstock paper still left and a big piece of that green foil polka dot pattern paper. I really like that. Lots of pattern paper pieces left. Of course, 
I used a lot of <laughs> peel-offs, but again, it feels like I hardly used any. I did use most everything in the embellishments bag. Just a touch here and there. I didn't get to the tags. I didn't use the tags. I didn't use those two wooden banners. And there's two or three pieces of ribbon that I didn't use. Those will all find loving homes in my stash. Love this stamp set. Especially love those two great big stamps. And of course the stencils. Those are great to have. Of course we do have our Nouveau Crystal Drops and our embossing powder and golden crown. Lots of leftovers from this month. I did do quite a bit of experimenting before I started making any cards. This is using the stencil and filling that with Versamark ink and then white embossing that. Then I stamped this with the archival orange ink. That was interesting. I was trying to find ways to use these on dark papers. This is, I believe, the Cracked Pistachio stamped on black paper and cut out. That came out interestingly. There's another one of my pink hibiscus, just for you, Lizzie. And this one I actually was going to use, but I didn't get around to it. I used the stencil and a very light touch to add some white pigment ink onto black cardstock. I let that dry really well, and then I stamped the stamp. This is in Spiced Marmalade Distress Oxide ink on top of that. It almost looks gold once it all dried, but I think there's some great opportunities to use these stamps on some dark pattern papers. I just didn't get around to them. <laughs> I was much more interested in making these pattern papers work. So those are my 10 cards for this month, ladies and gentlemen, with the Love from Lizzie Totally Tropical May 2018 card kit. I hope you enjoyed these cards. I certainly had a good time working out ways to use these interesting products. Now, at posting, I believe there are still a few more kits available at Love From Lizzie. If you'd like to get in on the fun and go purchase a kit, please use my link down below in the description to shop at lovefromlizzie.com. Thanks so much for joining me today and sharing your time with me. I hope you enjoyed these cards. I hope I was able to give you a grin, maybe a giggle, and a touch of inspiration. Please list me, like me, pin me, post me, share me with all your friends. Don't run with scissors. And happy crafting. <laughs>